and it goes deeper. Sachs has been very public about framing AI as a national security issue. At the AWS summit back in June, he said that Trump's directive in his first week is that the US has to win the AI race. He said very clearly, China is not years behind us. They're maybe three to six months behind. Three to six months, that's it. If the US goes into some deep recession, it could be the kill shot on US dominance in the AI race. Now, I want you to think very clearly about what that means. If you're the American government and you believe that whoever achieves AGI first essentially becomes unwithable on a global stage, if you believe that advanced AI could break encryption on every Chinese security database, if you believe that this is the new Manhattan Project, then you absolutely cannot let this trade fail. This isn't a stock market bubble. This is an arms race. And it's not just Sachs saying this either. Senator Alessa Slotkin actually called for a Manhattan Project-like effort to win the AI race with China. She said, and I quote, we need to get our ass in gear in terms of the tech arms race, particularly on AI. This isn't Silicon Valley hype. This is bipartisan national security consensus. And here's what's really surprising. The stock prices of these AI companies are what's enabling the capital expenditure. The MAG7 now makes up 35% of the S&P 500 market cap. If those stocks crater, they cannot finance the build out of the AI industry. If they can't finance the build out, America might lose the AI race. And if America loses the AI race to China, we're looking at potentially a catastrophic national security consequence. The government cannot let this happen, period.